See the game more clearly with high-definition spectacle lenses from Norville Opticians. David, we're here at the Stoop this morning uh, for the launch of the European Rugby Champions Cup and the Challenge Cup. As Challenge Cup holders, this stadium must bring back quite a few good memories from last May. Obviously, it was the highlight, really, of our whole season. When you think back to the night, the supporters, the players, all the staff who'd been involved, it was sort of reward for all the hard work that had gone into the season. So, like I'd say, it was a great starting point for us, but now we want to be the first team. Um, that manages to retain the Challenge Cup and with the games coming up over the next couple of weeks. Our focus is very much on, on Premiership and the back of our mind. We're looking forward to getting back into the competition. And in order to retain the trophy, we, we kick off against Zebra a week on Saturday. Now, they're a team who have won a couple in the, the Guinness Pro 12 recently, so, you know, they're finding some form. Yeah, I mean, they've had a difficult couple of years probably in all competitions, but as you said, the last couple of weeks they've beaten Edinburgh and Cardiff. So, f from our point of view, look, it doesn't change how we prepare for the game. We know that if we go in well prepared, if we go in and play the way that we know we know we can, we win the game. But the nature of Europe then, <coughs> with travelling away to La Rochelle, any French team away is, is always going to be difficult. And then the two Worcester games, and you'll have seen from, from last week's match how close that was. And I think that just with the nature of this season, 28 games in a row, we're going to have to manage our squad, but we're going to have to make sure that we're mentally ready and physically prepared for almost every week. Billy, we're here at the Twickenham Stoop, uh, almost six months ago to the day. You were here lifting the trophy. Does it bring back memories? Yeah, it does. It's um, a good place to be with the European launch. I think um, this was a happy memories for all the Gloucester players and everyone to do with the club six months ago. And um, always looking forward to starting Europe again and retaining the trophy. And time has flown by. Uh, we're almost about to kick off against Zebra at King's Home next Saturday. They feature a couple of uh, former teammates, Dario Castellini, Tommaso De Pice. It's going to be quite a tough start. Yeah. Massive tough start and I think Europe is a difficult tournament to be in. I think um, we obviously got nine out of nine last year and did it extremely well and lifted the trophy but I think you know, for a focus for us is definitely getting out of the pool. If we win all our home games and get a few good results away like we did last year and it will put us in a strong position to get a, a home quarter final. I think with the season the way it's structured this year it's definitely going to test the, the strength and depth in the squad but I think the, the momentum we had from winning the trophy here last last year and the momentum from pre-season the boys are in a really good place and looking forward to getting Europe back at King's Home. And you mentioned going away from home and getting some key wins last year away at the likes of Breve and Oyana. That's going to be vital experience when you consider that we kick off away from home at La Rochelle. Yeah, exactly that. I think I think going away definitely to Oyana last year where it was a bit unknown for a lot of the guys and, and for myself and to get that result definitely lifted the confidence within the squad and you know to go to places where guys haven't played before and to go there and just get results and have have travelling support there it makes a huge difference to to the campaign and and going forward for the season and to hopefully bring domestic form and and positive you know, like games going into Europe is key for us because I think that momentum in this sort of structured season is going to be key and if we want to success and go forward. And then obviously based on the experiences last weekend, the back-to-back -back against Worcester, they're going to be two hard-fought encounters as well, aren't they? Yeah, I think local rivals, and I think it, 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 it's testament to the way Worcester have come up from the league and they've got a great, great, great bunch of lads there and they've got a great sort of the way they play the game and they put a lot of teams under pressure and they've shown that at the start of the year and to have them back-to-back -back in around the Christmas period would be, would be massive for us as a club and, and to, to get good results in the first two weeks and then potentially the back-to-back -back then it'll put us in a strong position, but... Yeah, we know how tough it's going to be and we know how, how difficult it was last year, but we know how, how, how good it is this tournament to play in and get good results.